Good morning, Penny. Hey. You're being a lot quieter now that I pushed record on the camera. Don't want people to know just how much noise you make when you're hungry. Mm hmm. What do you say? Is it meat puck o'clock? <laughs> you got it. <laughs> it's Joel. That's the only problem. You're always too fast when I move. I can't get a shot of you jumping off the bed. Because as soon as I move to change the camera angle, you do. And you're right here. All right. Second half of it. What we got today? Beef and chicken dinner. Well, don't tell anybody else. We'll just pretend like it's breakfast. Here you go. Cur oh, wait. Curse splat. There, that's all of it. Oh! And you get some on the tip of your finger. It's a horrible way to start the day. Yuck. Oh, man, oh, man. Gotta clean up in here. As per usual. How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Ah, today we got to move the good ship Lucky as per usual again. <laughs> this time of year, she has been stationary for a few days, uh, keeping our butt nice and warm. Uh, diesel heater's working very well. I had a scare there for a second that maybe she was trying to kill me again by letting fumes into the good ship Lucky, but after uh, some resealant with some RTV gasket maker on the outside, uh, I seem to have prevented death. So that's a good thing. And after we get moved today, it's going to be some fairly simple stuff. It is that time of year, and I was doing my best to get all of my Christmas shopping out of the way. Uh, so I've got a bunch of gifts that need to be wrapped, most of which will be saved for later this evening with myself and Brooklyn, because they will be for the rest of our family. But there are a few things for her I would like to get wrapped up as well, so we're going to get the whole rig hooked up, get the Irish Pirate Queen onto Lucky's rear end, and uh, make like a tree and get out of here, as Biff once said. But before that, we're going to do our best to make the bed so that the tiny home on wheels is neat and as tidy as it can be in the rear. Well, you're back up there, are you? Hello, darling. Hoi. Sure, why not? Pillow there, pillow there, pillow everywhere. And like usual, now the question is, will I be needing to get into the back of Lucky at any point today? Because if that's the case, I'm going to have to move all this stuff forward, but I don't think so, eh? We should be okay today. Hello there, hello there. Sure, why not? When you've got an oblong-shaped bed that's not quite a queen, not quite a king, <laughs> but you've got sheets and blankets that are meant for king, you just got to sort of <laughs> bang it, work. This is as good as she's gonna get. All right, now we out of here. After we remove what sort of looks like a nerd? I don't know where that came from.
my van life. <sighs> so I came crashing open on one of those turns. My goodness. And it's because, I mean, I knew I already knew it was broken, but if you look in here at our door latch, you see that this magnet is supposed to be in there. But it's been pulled out. See, it's just like that bottom one. That bottom one, I feel, is no longer hitting the strike plate here or anything. Because, yeah, the door just, it's just, no. yeah, it's just nothing with that one. So, we've got even more to do today. Oh, the least of which, don't let your MiFi point hang down by its seat. Ah! Penny, I'm going to have to clean out your water dish. Sorry, I dropped some avocado oil spray in it. Just the bottle though, not the oil. Yikes. <sighs> they don't make them like they used to. It's funny because I made it. Oi, yeah, I don't know why or how that even got pulled out of that little housing. It got bent, it looks like it got bent. I don't know how that would have happened. I mean, it's not that heavy of a door, but all right, let's get everything See, this is just all this stuff that came crashing out. It's just yet again, another reason to not have so much stuff in this van. Just crazy. There's the lid for the avocado oil over there. Avocado oil itself, vinegar, ziploc -y baggies. Oh my goodness gracious. You can go over there for now. <sighs> Our home pod. Oh, the home pod pulled the faucet right off the. Everything was a domino effect. This is crazy. All right, let's. Ooh, just get this All stuff. Right. Here's some music picked just for you. I didn't ask for you to play music. But she's doing it. Hey Siri, stop playing music. Hey Siri, stop playing music. There's Siri's everywhere and nothing's listening to me. Stop it. Stop it. Sorry, Stop it. I couldn't find that speaker. It's too much. All right, yucky water. Be gone. All right. Go into our busted cupboard here. It's a good opportunity to clean out the water bowl for Penny. Spritz it with some vinegar. And wipe it out. So anyways, pull over to the mall here. This is where we'll kind of call our uh, home base of operations for today. Uh, there's a dollar store just inside the mall. I just need to get some wrapping paper and some tape. I was thinking about getting like gift bags for everything or like they have these like collapsible or buildable boxes or whatever. Like they come collapsed and you put them together. I might have to get a couple of those just depending. But even then, it's so much money. It's like, oh, it's $3 for these boxes. Just wrap it in the paper. It's going to be $3 for the boxes and then however much for the pet wrap and paper and then the tape and wrap all this shit up just for people to go. I don't know. It just, it seems silly, but it is what it is. It is that time of year. Time to give some boxes. There's no garbage in there because I didn't put a bag in it. Mm. <sighs> Move the curtain over to the driver's side. Clippy clip for now curtain up there and actually I've been looking at this I wonder since this bottom one's not really working can we just swap them and maybe that'll give us enough class I mean I put two on there for a reason obviously when I rebuilt Lucky but I don't know maybe that's the more frugal solution let's find out but first it's already too warm in here huh <sighs> It's, uh, it's colder outside today than it has been the last few days, but it's still not cold enough for those, uh, those thermal gold pants or whatever. Um, but it's, it's too warm in here for the, the whole combo of the hoodie and the jacket from Rocky Mountain Flannel Company. Okay, now, please tell me these were Phillips. Yes, they are. Let's get this busted ass one out of here. Hiya. And then swoopy swap it with the bottom one. The bottom will now become a top. All right, you get out of here. Actually, let me get a look at this thing. 
Like, yeah, that looks all sorts of like jank and bent. How the hell did that happen? Super strange. This stuff also feels extremely cheap. I mean, if this doesn't work, it's just going to be a quick stop to a hardware store, Canadian Tire, maybe. I think if I wanted another set of these big ones, though, it'd have to be like Home Depot or Rona. All right. But is this one just going to come sliding out too? I don't know. I think the setup on this thing seems fine enough. It just, oh, it just kind of, oh, this thing. There's like a little middle pin that is clearly missing from this one. Well, all right then. All right, let's get you in. Right about there. Wait, this way, right? Yeah, you got to have the magnets closer. That makes sense. Okay, so we got that guy up top now. Let's see if this latches. It does. Okay, it's pretty, uh, well, it's hopefully solid enough. What I've been noticing lately is that I simply have too much stuff in this cupboard and in transit, things will fall over like giant ass bottles of Bailey's. And then of course that knocks the door open. That might've been what like actually caused a whole bunch of shock to the, the other one, wherever it ended up. There it is behind the, the shitter. Ugh. Maybe that's what caused it to, to break apart. For now, we'll just leave this and see. I am 100% confident that it will eventually have to be repaired properly or, or, or something to that effect, right? Like I, I put two on here when I rebuilt Lucky because probably because I thought that this, this door would end up being too heavy and I was probably onto something quite frankly. But for now, our problem is solved. All right, uh, Lucky is still running right now, charging the house batteries, but there's actually lots of sun today, which is really nice. There it is, hello sun, how are you? So hopefully we're getting a little bit more on the solar panels than we usually do. Where is our phone in order to check? Oh my goodness. I just had you. Story of my life. Are you up here on the seat? Yes, you are. All right, let's see. Go into our Renogy app oh wait it's gonna be of course it's gonna be pulling stuff from the alternator but how many pv amps or volts we're pulling 22.8 volts but it's not going to show us amps because lucky's running all right lucky take a little bit of a break let's we'll see how long this takes to calm down and then switch over to the solar panels do 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 Right off the hop, we're getting 31 watts, which is pitiful, but it's more than zero. So we'll leave that like that for now. And we're going to make a venture in to the mall, to the dollar store to get some wrapping paper. Oh, actually before that, let's bring the gifts that we need to wrap into the tiny home on wheels. In the interest of decluttering in here, stay on top of it. I'm so bad for keeping nicks and knacks. This is busted AF. Get rid of this. Yeah, haha. So there we go. I'm actually not going to wrap this one because this is for Noah. The last time I saw the little guy out there at Sanctuary, he was almost walking. I mean, he was taking his first few steps and just getting a little imbalanced. So, figured a tractor like this to go along with the fire truck that we got him for his birthday. You can push it along and drive my brother nuts. But also, I saw this in the same store. So I got this silly thing for Brooklyn. I don't know. Let's see. It wakes up and then you can feed it these things. I'm hungry. Oh, are you? Here. She doesn't like the green pepper, but apparently it comes with a whole bunch of different things you can put in its mouth and she'll interact. Figured why not. Um, and then another thing that Brooklyn showed me a while back when we were walking around was this. Ha! <sighs> so we shall see. But it's a little miniature pool table. So I figured that would be fun. We can probably even haul this out to BC with us when we go out there for our belated Christmas with the rest of the family. And she could play that with myself and whoever else is a game to play with a little pool shark. It's it's one of those things that's um it's a little bit more not that frustrating, but I had to focus up a little bit more this year in terms of like smaller items, right? Because I'm walking around the toy store and I'm seeing all of these, hang on. We're gonna try to get these into the uh, 
van in one go. <laughs> I'm walking around the toy store and I'm seeing all these cool gifts that I would like to get her that she would, I'm sure, enjoy. But they're all a little bit more on the, not necessarily the larger side, but they would just make so much more sense if she had a bedroom in sticks and bricks, you know what I mean? So it's hard because I've set my mind on that being the goal. So I'm pretty sure this time next year, knowing me, we will have that for sure. But for this, this year, we had to keep it a little bit more reserved. So, you know, the electronic pool game, this can either live, well, it could stay with us, but it's winter months. So it'll either be at Lindsay's house for the time being, or like I said, out in New Denver, grandma and grandpa's. This little guy, not a problem. He can hop right into our go bag and come into all of the hotels with us. Good old Sandy snacks a lot. Gonna be part of the Van Life Plus go bag. All right, well, let's get these things wrapped. In order to do that, it's time to head inside. And you know what? I know, I know. Christmas is not about the things and the stuff. and. That's very, very true. But when you are a parent and you have a little girl and you just, you know, you can see her eyes light up when she has like a large dollhouse to play with or something like that, that you were able to gift to her on behalf of the big man. Um, that's, there's no denying that that's really cool and you want to do it. So that's just, that's just the way it is. There's no avoiding it. And I've been, I, th I feel like I've been very on point for the last few Christmases when it comes to it. And her stocking will still be stocked with stuff from like the dollar store, like I've done in years past, because, you know, stuff and gifts and like that, they can be quite fleeting, but she is getting to an age where certain gifts are starting to last a bit longer, hold her attention a bit longer, you know? So, I don't know. There's always stuff rolling around in your head when you're a dad. Truer words, never spoken. Why am I between all of these cars? So silly. Go through here and walk in the big lane. My goodness. This no plastic bag situation is ridiculous. No, I cannot be bothered to remember to bring a reusable grocery one. <sighs> there we go. Okay. Yeah, okay, it's been a few days as well. Penny's litter box needs to be given a little bit of a shake too. My goodness. <sighs> it's good to know you're drinking all your water, putty tat. You'd think it'd be weird, but it's, it's not. Hasn't really been since day one. Maybe the very first time. Not so much anymore. It's like Scoob, we're gonna need some fresh litter in here as well. Into the garbage with you. Oof. To the Irish pirate queen with me. That's just the way it is. Things will never be the same. Right. There's a big tractor on top of the litter. Ah, there we go. Hello. Excellent. All right, 
and we're back in business. Warm. This is the kind of layering that does you no favors when you're inside longer than you are outside. Okay. Hiya! <sighs> One of these days, we're going to take care of that. That might even be today. Who knows? We shall see. But the uh, garbage can needs to move here. And we need more table space. There we are. And then we slide this guy under there. Okay, so I did opt to get a few of the boxes. Bitch, bitch, complain, complain. Get it anyway. But they will just make things easier because I've got a cup couple of softer, smaller items that will just make more sense to go in boxes like these. Oh, but then there was that one from my mom. That won't fit in here. The, uh, gonna have to go back and get a couple of gift bags. But we gotta do some running around when we're done here anyway. So let's get the uh, first few things here wrapped up. And this is mostly just, so this is just stuff for Brooklyn. So it is done and over with. Obviously I can't be showing stuff that I bought for the rest of the family because the rest of the family well, more or less, watches the videos and we don't want to risk spoilers. So we're going to wrap a Yappy Lizard, an electronic arcade pool table, and a Sonic the Hedgehog ripoff of trouble slash frustration. Away we go. up for the big presents for the pirate princess and that's actually a good segue uh, if you are curious about stuff like that like the presents that I got for the extended family that's the sort of information you yourself could procure over on patreon so I would happily welcome you to find the link in the description of this video alone and if you're interested in supporting what it is that I'm doing here on this channel month to month head on over there, join that community. We would absolutely love to have you over there. You would support me as a content creator and you can get involved with the amazing community we have over there. There's a whole chat room for everybody to use and you can direct message me and you get daily up-to-date video updates with what I'm doing. Speaking of which, I should probably do that for them right now. So I'll be, I'll be right back. Also, Mike just texted me. He's over at Chinook. I'm at South Center basically doing the same thing. So we're probably gonna meet up, I would imagine. I haven't seen him in a hot minute. And I know somebody who could use a candy cane white hot chocolate. Mm. Okay, well, too warm for that hoodie. Back to the flannel from Rocky Mountain Flannel Company. And we'll just double this bad boy up. <sighs> that way, we won't be sweating our balls off while we're visiting with Mike. And just in case the day gets away on us, let's make sure we've got all of our new, newly procured wrapping stuff. So if we just gotta go get the pirate princess after, we have everything we need. All right. Tally to the freaking hoe.
Oh. Oop is store. Extended holiday hours. Ooh, it's busy. Thanks, man. Thank you. Good luck. Yeah, have a good one. <laughs> Woo! Business at the UPS store is a booming. Ooh, thanks to that head of the post strike. Oh, a couple packages here from you lovely people as well. I think I know what this is. I was given a heads up that it is coming, and not only do I appreciate it, but I'm pretty sure the big fat putty tat's gonna appreciate it as well. Oh, big shout out and thank you to Mark for sending Penny some more of her meat pucks. It is greatly appreciated and helps us out immensely, sir. Thank you very much. Hey. And then envelope number two. Ooh, oh, yum. Hey, maybe Mike and I should just go here. From Jason Joseph Wistaff. Your videos have been a big help with my own van conversion. Thanks again for the videos. And Joseph sent me a couple of gift cards off of my wish list. Tim Hortons. Hey, that's where we're going. And A&W. Thank you very much, sir. He left me a comment saying that he was sending me these and that especially my um, install video for the Renogy DC to DC charger was helpful and he set it up the exact same way. So I hope it's, uh, hope it's holding up, sir. Mine has been for over three full years of van life. So thank you very much for the kindness, sir. I greatly appreciate it. Hopefully you're uh, getting some chuckles out of the videos these days because there's not a lot of installing going on currently, but you never know what the future might hold. Uh, stay tuned. All right, now over to a brand new Tim Hortons. Damn, never mind. We are going to have to divert to an old Tim Hortons. Here we go. <laughs> there's a, there's a gonna be, I guess, a new Tim Hortons just down on McLeod Trail here, right before Heritage Drive in the, in the same parking lot as the co-op. I saw it the other day when I was indulging in some Wendy's, uh, but I guess it's not actually open for business yet. Sorry about it, Mike, but he was in Chinook anyway. He had to come this way. Now we go to the old stomping grounds uh, right down here. drive throughs looking a little full, but hopefully we can find a spot to park our butts on the inside. Well, there's somebody we know. He looks familiar. Ooh! <laughs> How are you? How are you? Oh, not too bad. Finally start, yeah, right? He's got the cough too that never ends. Oh, thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Oh. So I had that concern that it might not be open. I just saw it the other day and I was like, mm. I can't believe they put one there though because there's one right across the street by the Savon as well. Quality content. This is on me. Actually, this is on Jason. So you get whatever you want. All right. Uh, can I get Thank a you, sir. large, um, what are those things called? Uh, ice caps. Ice Made with chocolate milk, milk please. It's not cold enough for you? It's one of those people who drink an ice caps in the wintertime? Yes. Yes. Can I get a large candy cane white hot chocolate, please? Do you want anything to eat? No. No? No, I just eat. <laughs> Sorry? Do you want the candy cane? Yes, please. And white hot chocolate. Large. Yeah, that's everything. No, that's it. Thank you. Gift card. <laughs> Thank you. You too. <laughs> yeah. well, what the? Clean up aisle. What the? F <laughs> oh, cheers. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you, Jason. That's right. <laughs> The two schmucks that are out doing Christmas shopping this close to Christmas. It's actually even not that close right now. Oh, the candy cane is plugging the hole. I hate when that happens. Seriously. Oh! doing a time lapse Mike's trying to talk to me all serious and my candy cane hot chocolate is there's no liquid in there sorry you were saying <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah it just that uh, uh, 
I, I don't even know where I was going now because your face is a mess. My, is it still? Yes. Oh. Right here. Now it's what? <laughs> Why? This is stupid. I mean, I like it, but I've never had a would candy like, cane. Would you like a spoon? <laughs> right, a spoon to eat my hot chocolate. I just, you got to break through the center. I just need to break the seal. That's what I was just going to say. No. No, it's going to burn. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's Make under there. There choices. it is. Make, Make smart, smart choices. <laughs> Make good choices. <laughs> okay, there we go. We made a hole. All right. Now I can suck the chocolate out and go. All right, sir. Well, nice seeing you. I see you. Hug. Merry Christmas if Merry I don't Christmas. see you. Yes, Merry Drive Safe. Say hi to the family for me. Do, Talk Hold to you soon. <laughs> All right. We are out of here. Back into the Irish Pirate Queen. We still got a little bit of time before we got to get to Pirate Princess. And I just realized we forgot to load up the EcoFlow. I guess we'll do that and go check on the putty tat. <sighs> Penny. Where are you at? You up there? No, you in the back? Oh, you are in the back. Let's get a little bit of light on the subject. Boop. Hello, darling. Hello, hello, hello. You want some treats? It's not even that cold in here right now. I mean, we should still close the door because, come on. We weren't raised in a barn. But yeah, it's not as nearly that bad in here. I was, I was still worried for you. I should have put more faith in my ability to build a very warm, tiny home on wheels. Shut up and give me treats. Here, we got the greenies. Is this what you want? Is this what you want? Yeah. All right, darling. Give me a moment. <laughs> oh. All right, here you go. No, no, stay there. No, what this? You almost dropped it. This one? Good girl. One more for you. <laughs> Good girl. Oh, one more, fine. Here you go. Good girl. Who's a good girl, huh? Mm. Good girl. Don't get shocked. Don't get shocked. Oh, you would have gotten shocked. There was a charge. You know what? We're getting so close, Penny, to being done with these Pringles. Oh, sorry. <laughs> My bad. Yo, the good girl. The good girl. We're just going to do this, and then we can get rid of the flat. Yikes. These are not going to live up here until we are done with them, because there's no room in the cupboard with the potentially still broken door. We won't know until we are in transit later this evening. Right? Where are you going? <laughs> Listen, it ain't meat puck time yet, okay? No, not yet. It's still too early. You've got a bowl full of, oh my goodness, oh no. Look back up, Penny. We can see the bottom of the bowl. There, I solved that problem for you. Mm-hmm. Some people's kids. 
What's the issue, huh? Mm. Are you getting as antsy as me to get back to sticks and bricks? Maybe. I'll tell you this. Or I guess I will, I will say this for my approach to this whole thing. Since I put it out there at the beginning of this chapter that that's my goal now to get a, a place for us. Um, <laughs> in doing so, it has made everything that might go wrong or bother me that much worse. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's magnified the annoyance factor of a lot of things or anytime that there's like any sort of little challenge, like whether I, you know, I can't stand up when I'm getting dressed or I bang my head on something or the clutter of things, all those little things usually bother you when you're in a van, but you're fine with it because it's just like the way it is. But now that I've relegated myself to the goal of getting back into an apartment and I really want that to be a thing, uh, all of that stuff is just so much. Uh, and I guess that's uh, I guess that's to be expected. So we're just gonna have to cope with it a little while longer. And who knows? Maybe Penny is feeling the same thing. But I should have expected that. But having never lived this before, I didn't think anything of it. We will make do, just like we always do. Yeah, good girl. Mm. All right, I better take that over to the recycling before I get Brooklyn. Mm. But I should also turn on the diesel heater for you just so it stays as warm as it is in here as the night wanes on. <sighs> Once again, in accordance with Lucky having sat for so many days, there's a lot of schmutz on her solar panels. She's still pulling very low watts when I just checked it now. So I've got her running again, just to get a bit of boost of battery power. We'll use the vinegar to clean these panels off a bit. I should have done this when I was at the car, or the car wash, the gas station this morning. Should have just used the squeegee. Would have been a lot easier, but see if we can suck a little bit more power out of these. Sun's also getting insanely low, so it probably has a lot to do with it. <laughs> but since we're here, even a little bit of a swipe down, Vinegar, the all-purpose cleaner. Yuck. Those are some grubby panels, man. Holy crap. All right. And the other side. See if that makes any bit of a difference for the next <laughs> half hour before the sun's completely gone. Another bad part of this time of year. Yeesh. And no, for those wondering, I still have not fixed the hinge on the other door, so... We just have to be very careful when we're putting our ladder away. Just sort of slide the ladder in and then give the door one of these. Huh. Nailed it. All right, and this is what we came for. Come here, you big bastard. Hey, there we go. Getting stronger every day. <laughs> ah, that or I'm just being fueled by my candy cane white hot chocolate. Could go either way. Is that everything? Oh yes, recycling. We'll rip that over. I think we might be good to go. Okay, take another break, Lucky. Miss Penny, we will see you so soon. Lights out, enjoy your Christmas lights and also what's left of the natural light. Bye bye, putty tats. Everybody just calm down.
Here, become something more useful. Maybe. <laughs> All right. Now we're out of here. We'll play in a second. Can you come over here real quick? Come over here. Can you tell me which one of these labels you want to use for Noah's present? Which one do you think he would like? Can I pick two? You want to give him two labels? Yeah. Okay. Sure, why not? Which one? The sun and that one. Which, wait, wait a second. The Santa clo Santa jacket and which one? You got it. All right. High five. How do you get them out? You just got to peel them like stickers, dude. Whoa. There you go. Here, hand me that one. Ooh, is there different ones on there you'd rather use for Noah? These ones have like, look, there's a koala. It's very upside down Christmassy. Yeah, good. I guess we're sticking with these ones. There we go. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm not actually quite ready for them yet. Daddy didn't think that through. Um, right here is fine. You want to peel off the other one and put it right beside this one on the table. We're not actually at it yet. It's still down here, but we're getting closer. Are you going to use that one? Yeah. Oh, okay. Quick change of mind. There you go. All right, whoops. All right, around the table. Nice. Hey, where's my turkey lurkey? Yeah. Oh, you're down there? Now you're the turkey lurkey? No. No? What are you? Your pyre princess. My pyre princess. That's much better. Hi, Penny. How you doing, sweetheart? Hello. Yeah, let me get Grace hooked up and we'll get you some dinner. Actually, that doesn't really make a lot of sense, does it? We should give you your dinner so you can eat it <laughs> while I'm hooking Grace up. Nice ear, nice ear. Oh yeah, it's that time of the day. You need a new meat puck, don't you? I mean, hang on, hang on. We got a whole box of them earlier however I think you still have one can in here yes you do wow that food showed up just in time here you go tonight's menu turkey and salmon entree freaking delicious bone apple tits kitty cat and we should also fire lucky up again whilst we're hooking grace up so those house batteries get a charge very nice. Yeah, that reminds me. I picked these up at Canadian Tire the other day as well because one of my little key rings on the pins that hold Grace to Lucky fell off. Not an important part, it just makes getting the pin off a little bit easier. Kind of gives you something extra to grab onto. See, over here we got this guy. But on this side, it finally went the way at a dodo and we got nothing so I'm hoping this thing will be a good replacement spinner in there there we go let's see yeah see and you got that extra thing to pull it out once she's tight she's very loose right now all right Grace ready to get your big booty pulled all over creation again neutral not going anywhere. 
Excellent. Huh. There you go. Thank you for your services today, Grace. Grace is attached. The good ship Lucky is running. The gloves are coming off. And we can pretty much get the heck out of here and back down to Hotel Walmart. Hey, eh, Putty Tat? What do you say? Yeah? You full of meat puck? Is it time to get going? Is it time to get going? You know what we should do? We should uh, rip around the parking lot and see if this stays latched. Oh, yes. Don't need you behind me now, Curtin. Over there. Thank you so much. Okay. okay. Not sure how twisty and turny we'll be able to get in the parking lot, but we'll give it the good old college try. Here we go. Tally freaking ho. So far so good. Try to make a left turn here. This is what may, would make stuff fall out of the cupboard. Although again, it's not gonna be a very fast left. Ha ha! Not just a hat rack, my friends. Move the other magnet up. Now we gotta find a place to stop and turn the camera off. <laughs> uh, you know, this looks like a good a place as any. There, there's some more appropriate camera angle to end the video on, although it's a lot darker when that light's off. Hey yo. Anyway, that's it for this one. I'm gonna go hunker down at Hotel Walmart and call it a night. So thank you very much for watching. And until the next one, just go out there, be happy, be creative, be yourselves. Most importantly, be positive. Remember, you can't make everybody happy because you're not tacos. We'll see you in the next one, everybody. Bye-bye.